Good morning, everybody. It's um, Thursday, 27th of July. We're going to do some current market analysis. Um, just uh, make sure you read the disclaimer. This is for education purposes only, and trading's risky, and you need to know what you're doing. I'm sure you've seen this before from my previous webinars. I won't go into any details. My name's Anil. And today we're going to look at some charts. And if there are any requests, please let me know. And we'll look at any particular instruments and how I use my approach on every instrument, every time frame. And, um, you know, it's worked for me for many, many years. And hopefully, um, you know, you'll gain something out of this. We're also going to look at some of the um, free Zenfinex Plus tools, um, including um, trading tools, uh, trading views, featured ideas, and a pretty cool um, calendar. So let's just get straight to charts. Um, before I do that, just make sure you know how to get to these free tools. It's um, plus.zenfinex.com. No charge, absolutely free, some great tools. So let's um, go straight to charts. Right, okay. Um, those of you who were with me on um, Tuesday, we were looking, we did a top-down approach on the euro dollar at around this period here. Let me just put the cursor on it. And we were looking for a breakout of this range. I think when we actually were doing the webinar, we were stuck in there and we highlighted some areas where it could come to for a breakout on the top side and a breakout on the downside. It did in fact break on the downside. If I go to a smaller time frame, and we have a look at that. Um, uh, let me just get rid of this for a second came back, retested this area. And as you know, I always do the retest, gave a beautiful entry. And I think I marked this green line as a first port of call. And then the bottom of the triangle as a um, second point of interest. So let's just um, see where we are now. And we'll, we'll start from the top down again, but let's look at some other instruments first. Um, let's take a look at um, oil, which again, I think I mentioned on Tuesday, you know, on Wednesday evening, uh, Wednesday 3.30 London time, there's huge some news coming out. We had quite a, a quite a big move up. It's basically filled this gap here. And I think somebody on the webinar was asking me for some, you know, some um, how I look at oil and as I think I mentioned when I did this before, let's just get rid of everything and we'll do a bit of a top down on oil, gold, and um, the euro dollar. If there's any other pairs that you want me to look at, I've got about 30, 40 minutes, so we can go through a few of them. But again, those of you who watch my previous webinars, you'll know what I'm about to do, I do every single time, which is basically start with a blank chart. So we're on US oil on the daily. I'll go back to weekly and I start framing the market. So this is based on the principle that, you know, I'm looking to see where prices will go in the next one or two days, basically. So let's start off by marking areas that might be of interest to us. And really all I'm doing is marking up support and resistance. If you want to know, you know, whether I use the wick or the, uh, the candle, look at some of the other webinars and you'll see I give a much more detailed explanation on why I put this support line here and not here and not there and why not here. Um, I put it here for very specific reasons. So that's the weekly approach. Let's now go to the daily and start marking up some more areas that um, we need to be mindful of. So we can see definitely here. So oil really um, has been sort of bouncing between 67-ish to 83. And certainly in the last uh, couple of weeks, it's bound, bounced off this level of support, broke out of this um, consolidation that we mentioned previously. You know, this whole area here, it's been in this area for some time. Let's just do that. And what do we have here? We have a breakout retest of the top of the consolidation area. 
and then onwards and upwards. It's filled essentially this gap here. And those of you who want to know how to, or what the meaning of gaps are, please ask in the box and I'll explain it a little bit further. But this gap has now been filled. I won't, draw, I won't leave that on there, but effectively there was a gap up, which is now broken through. So I won't put a, a marker there. So what do we have here from the daily perspective? So, and I'm also gonna get rid of this box here. We, we know where it is, we've seen it. Let's just get rid of it and then start looking at other things that might guide us in terms of um, A, direction, B, turning points. So clearly we have a turning point here. We have a, you know, the support level here was acted as a turning point. But if we now start going into a little bit more detail, Clearly, we can see that it's broken through here, right? I won't cover that anymore. Let's go down to the body just to put that in there. So effectively, what's happened is that this downward move consolidated for, let me put the cursor on, consolidated for a period of time, broke out of it, retested it, and now it's finding some energy to head back up towards the 83. What can stop it? And what are the key turning points that we can look at? So here we can see that we are in an upward channel. I'll just tighten that up a little bit. And I use, and just, you know, again, I'm repeating myself, I just use support resistance and uh, channels to give me indications of where I should enter stops and targets. So clearly, this breakout here, this would have been at the top of the channel would have been a good area to exit the trade. There's also some resistance which coincides with this top of channel. So we're going to probably see a little bit of sideways action here. We're on the daily, remember. So if we now go to the four hourly, we can start marking up this area of consolidation. So do remember, you know, um, Markets will trend, they'll go sideways, they'll trend again, go sideways. And now, after this move up, remember we're looking at the four hourly, we're starting to see a bit of consolidation here. And if we are to look for trades on oil, we're looking for the same thing we did down here. We're looking for a breakout and retest. Now, with that breakout and retest, we then want to see if it does break out, where could it go to? Where are the potential turning points that could prevent our trade from going to the moon or falling to the floor, right? So there's clearly um, the bottom of the channel is an area where if we do get a downward break, you know, it would, and let's expand this line a little bit here. So we can see here, we've got some support building up here. I might just move this up a little bit. Let's get rid of that one and just use the horizontals. So here we've got broke out, came back, went really almost back to the top of the channel. It's consolidating. So now on a four hourly perspective, it's trying to figure out, is it want, does it want to continue this upward channel or does it want to come back and retest some of these areas here? So let's just see. Uh, if it does come on the downside, where are the areas that it could potentially turn from? So what we're looking to do is look to see where it turned in the past, right? So it turned here, came back down, turned again, eventually broke through, consolidated. So clearly, right, the areas of turning points, if it comes to the downside, is, you know, this round here and you know and i'll put a block around here because um it's an area that i'm looking for so if we do take a downside trade we're looking to see where targets could present themselves you know is after this move going to come back and take out some of this liquidity here or is it going to continue up well if it continues up right we've got some resistance at the top of the channel and remember it could keep going sideways for some time. We don't actually know when this breakout will be. All we have to do 
is be vigilant. And again, I'll re-emphasize, I never put pending orders above consolidation areas for a simple reason that sometimes, and some, more, than, more than sometimes, often, you'll get a little spike and it will take you the wrong way. And you don't really want to do that. That's why my general, one of my general training rules are that if we have a consolidation area, I want to break out, retest it, and then head for areas. And if I now pull away a little bit, we can then look at to see where the areas, um, there may be potential turning points. So we've got an area here. Uh, let's put a horizontal here. Look. So, so if we look at these previous price action uh, tool um, uh, bars, we can see here that there was a turning point here, turning point here, broke through there, acted as um, resistance. And so top of the channel and some resistance here means that if we do take a, a trade on the upside, right, there's areas here and there's areas here. So what I'm doing, I'm forward mapping out where my stops and where my targets could be. And this is the simplicity of this is that it's so repeatable that you can just keep doing it over and over again. There's no fancy indicators or oscillators that are needed because prices move towards support and resistance. It's just it's as simple as that. So, you know, in less than five minutes, right, or 10 minutes, we've mapped out a potential trade if we were trading oil. We're looking for a breakout, do nothing at this point here. You know, some people may say, well, why don't I try to get a better entry here and a better entry there? Well, you really need to let the instrument, in this case, uh, oil, tell you what it wants to do. Don't try to tell it what you would like it to do because more often than not, you're going to be wrong. So I do you know, get sometimes some questions. Well, if I had placed an order here, I would have got more and my risk reward, et cetera, et cetera, right? But the problem is, is that at this stage, we actually don't know where the market is going, right? Yes, it's in an upward channel. Yes, the probability is that it's going to go up. But equally, it could come down and retest some of these lower levels. I don't know that yet, right? And I don't know anybody who does know for certainty. So what you do is you plan for both eventualities. You will say, just like I showed you on the euro dollar a few minutes ago, you know, if it goes up, here's our plan for when it goes, if it goes up, and here's our plan if it, um, you know, tries to go down. Am I right 100% of the time? Absolutely not. But I have stops and contingencies to make sure that if I'm wrong, that you know, I protect my capital with uh, you know, proper risk management rules. So we just mapped out oil, our idea effectively. If it breaks out to the top side, we're looking for a breakout, a retest, and then heading upwards you know, towards these um, previous highs. Uh, let's just put that on, squeeze it up a little bit so you can see. So look, so there is a distance for it to get to this point, right? And that's what we're, what we're um, aiming for. But also, if it doesn't, and it breaks the downside, we're looking for uh, opportunities to take this, um, the, you know, back down to this level here. And that's, you know, my analysis for um, oil. Let's have a look at gold. I know that's a popular instrument and I do this uh, frequently. So let's just get rid of all the lines again. I go through exactly the same procedure regardless of the instrument. And the reason why I do this is because, you know, there are a million ways to trade the market. So, you know, this method, that method, the other method. And truly, you have to find your own method. And for me, what has always worked, I've built quite complex trading strategies, right, with, you know, eight variables and, you know, all sorts of um, what if um, functionality. And when it boils down to it, the simplest ones work the most effective in almost all markets. And that's what you're looking for, right? So we can see just by looking at gold here, let's do it again, what we normally do, we'll put the major levels in. Again, look at my previous videos, why I haven't got this um, resistance line at the top, I've got it here. 
Not to say that when he gets around here, I might start using the top one, but for right now, I'm just really framing the market to see you know, where my trading range is, you know, where could it go to, um, where could it turn from? So this is, and I'll put another one here, the four hourly, we'll probably pick this one up, but let's just put it in anyway and try to get an idea of which direction it's going to go. So if I now just zoom out a little bit and uh, start putting my four hourly lines in, that will then start mapping out what we're going to do for today, the next few days, um, et cetera. So let's just um, widen it up a bit, minimize it a little bit, and um, just bear with me for one second. Just bear with me for one second, please. Or technical hitch, apologies for that. So let's get back to where we were. So we can clearly see here, right, that there's a level of resistance around this level here, exactly where we are now, right? So every time gold has tried to approach these levels, let me just make sure or go. These levels here, let me just, um, I won't highlight them, you can see them. Let me just put the cursor on it here. Resistance, 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 resistance. Where did it turn from just in the last four hours? Exactly that point, right? And we've put some levels down here. So we're now we're framing the market. We're also going to put one above it because if it breaks out of this level, we want to see where the next turning point could be. So let's put a level here more as a guide and we'll start narrowing down that level um, once it breaks down because we'll use other techniques as well, right? So let's just, and we're still in the four hourly. So observations, right? This is a strong level of resistance at 1982. Hit it again in the last few hours and came back down. But what we're seeing after these levels of support, support, it's been creating new higher highs even though it's struggling at all the previous levels of resistance but it's breaking them and now we're trapped in this little range here but if we then use our other favorite tool which is the channel right so we can see here come to resistance um, and if we do break out you know we've got with again just like i did on oil we're starting to set ourselves some targets um and some scenarios right so let's now go down to a slightly taut, um smaller time frame i'm now also going to start tightening up these lines because we're right at these points now so 1982 1983 is clearly going to be an important level for gold why do i say that i say that because so many times it's hit it and come back down it poked through very briefly for a few hours, came back down, and it just toppled back down to the bottom of our channel, to the bottom of this level of um, support here. So even in this um, four hourly channel, right, we're starting to develop a, another channel from an hourly perspective. So now what we're doing, we're looking to see much more closer what could potentially happen um, to this, um, to gold. And in fact, I might just squeeze that down a little bit more and just try to start capturing a little bit more levels that we have to break for us to be confident that it's gonna continue going up or is it gonna come back to the top of this channel and the top of the resistance to fall back down to the bottom of here? So these are the two scenarios, right? There's only two things that could happen, well, three things. One, it could go sideways for a period of time, absolutely possible. It could break out and head back up to the 2016 levels, right? Or it could not be able to get above 1983 and start consolidating around here. So these are um, the three scenarios that we're looking at gold. And what we're trying to do is 
have a plan for each of those particular scenarios, right? So let's now go a little bit closer. And just try to look at what is happening in terms of um, price action, right? Look, um, I'm just going to get you to observe these, right? So look at these long, I say long, relatively long um, green candles, right? So every time there's a pullback, the green long candle pushes prices up, price pushes it back up to the previous high and breaks through it. Pulls back down, goes back to the previous high and goes above it. Pulls back down, goes above it and pulls back down. So this pattern, if you can start spotting this pattern here, it's gonna be so helpful to you in terms of your own trading. So how are we gonna play gold, right? Resistance top of the channel resistance and we have resistance here so we're really looking for a breakout and I believe because it's done it so many times let's just count back how many times right I'm going to thicken this line a little bit so we can um, pay some attention to this right because this is clearly an important level right so we've made it thicker so I'm just going to go back in time and see what happened certainly since May, right? Every time price hit this level, it came down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times it tried to break through the 1983 over a period of, just bear me for a second, let's move this little tool out of the way so you can, you can pay some closer attention. So every time, hit this level it's come back down and all the way down to the bottom of this level here 1901 so it's been bouncing 50 points sorry 83 points in this range here so we're looking for a breakout now we're looking to see if prices now come are they going to do exactly the same thing are they going to come back down or go back up. And this is the answer we don't have, right? We will only have it when it actually does it. So now let's go to even a smaller time frame, right? We've still got our higher time frame lines built in. And we're looking to see, and we're getting a bit of a sharp move up on the 15 minute, right? So clearly, every time price comes back down, it doesn't come back lower, so we can easily classify this as an uptrend with some major resistance at the top. So now we've got to figure out where do we think about entering this trade, right? So effectively, this was the previous high. So let's start marking up some previous highs. Let's start from even down here, right? I'm even going to go to the start of the move, right? Try to draw these as straight as possible. Right, so this was the level of resistance, broke through, came back down and went back up. And then it did the same thing here. Resistance, resistance, broke through. Now do remember, I'm on the 15 minutes. So this is for people who, who are really trading you know, at relatively short term periods, right? Uh, intraday almost. And I'll just make these a little bit more straighter so they don't confuse. Right, so broke through, creates a new high, and when it came down, it didn't get lower, lower than this. And I think I had marked up this area as a consolidation area previously uh, on one of my previous videos. We were looking for a breakout of this, and in fact, what it did, it broke out rapidly, and look, it came back, retested it, and had a nice move back up to break these highs basically right so this was the next level of resistance and once it broke through it came back down but couldn't get all the way down here so the trend is still there right so our state of mind is very much this is an uptrend it reached a peak there and just as you know probably yesterday it broke through came back down but it couldn't get lower than this point here 
and it's trying to break through. So clearly now, right, what we're looking for is a break out of this. So all this congestion now at the last previous high, the major resistance, the top of the channel is creating a block, a block that we have to break through, right? So this is now gonna be, for me, a very key area. Why? Well, if it breaks out, right, it's like to create a new high and then pull back because it's done that every single time previously, right? So it doesn't take a genius to figure this out, right? It keeps pulling down and it doesn't pull further down. So now this is a very important area for us. We want to see whether it's going to break through, um, surpass this previous high, and then would expect it to pull back down, but not as far as here. And we'd expect it to, you know, go up if it does break this. And I'm using the word if importantly, right? Because what could happen as it's done seven, eight, nine times, we just counted them, right? Hits this level and comes back down. But the fact that it's been grinding its way up in this sort of wave fashion is indicative of a continuation. The only thing that we've got to be careful of, and if I now go back to the hour, just to get a slightly bigger perspective here, right? It could be, and look, that's at the top of the channel, but we could be as part of this big channel here, right? Came back down, came back to the bottom of the channel, and it's grinding its way back up. So these, this whole area is now going to be key. And what I expect it to do, to be honest with you, the way I'm reading this as we speak, is that it will probably find its way back up to this level here and consolidate, which is fine, right? Because once it's consolidated, we can then use the same approach by looking for breakouts of this consolidation areas to either take it all the way back up to the top, top of this channel and the previous, you know, a, a previous high of uh, 2016. So that's kind of where a, 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 an important juncture. Obviously, when we had the breakout here, we were targeting this level as a target. Uh, by the way, I'm, I keep talking. If there's any questions, please let me know. So this is the area where I'm going to look for. If it breaks to the upside, it will pull back, and then we'll be heading back up to these areas here. If it can't get past this whole level here, which is clearly a very strong level of resistance, then we could see it pull back into this area here and maybe I have another go at a later stage. We don't know. This is why we have to stay vigilant in terms of what is going to happen here. And again, if there is a move, you know, don't naturally just jump on it and assume that you're on your way up to these levels. Wait for the pullback to get a better entry, a better risk reward trade to take it up to the top, basically. I hope that helps. I'm just gonna to check to see if there's any questions regarding this. There isn't any at the moment, but that's my sort of top down from a weekly, daily, four hourly, hourly, and we, I think we even went to the 15 minute chart using the same levels, right? Longer term perspective to get an idea on how to play gold right and um or how to create a trading idea from gold and um if there's no questions i think i'll just go back to some of the other tools and show and and you know we can have a look at some other just bear me for a second let's get the zenfinex tools and we'll check if any news is going to be affecting us so remember this is the plus Zenfinex um, free tools. All you have to do is register and um, it will um, give you free access to some quite interesting tools here. I won't have time to go through all of them. Let's just see if I can give you a quick glimpse of these. There's some sell, um, buy and sell opportunities that will give you some buy and sell signals, um, which obviously you have to do your own um, research. We've got, um, and I've got this in Arabic for some strange reason, but there is a English version of this as well. Uh, let's go back down to these levels. There's some videos that you can, you know, 
get a better understanding of how markets move. Um, and all these tools are there for your purpose to educate yourself and uh, you know to see if they have any use for you. Um, I do have videos within inside this portal which show you how to use each of these tools, but really they're here just to guide you and help you and educate you um, to utilize these uh, you know trading ideas so that we have uh, trading ideas, economic insights, technical views. And, um, you know, if you do get into this portal, uh, you've signed up, uh, you know, always send, you can always send me a message from there and I'll try to help you in terms of, um, you know, finding good trading opportunities. So this is a quick overview of the Plus Zenfonix tools. I'm just going to check to see if there's any questions. I don't see any here at the moment. Um, and the last one is this pretty cool economic insights calendar, which um, there is a video and, and some of my previous um, webinars will show you how to use this and how I utilize some of these tools. I don't actually have time today to go through them, but um, you know, in, once you've signed up, leave a message for me and I'll happily help you along your path. So if there are no more questions, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, we've had a look at gold, we've had a look at oil, um, and it's the same approach, right? So everything I did, same approach, regardless of the instrument, using a top-down approach, higher timeframes, shorter timeframes, look for support and resistance, and channels to find areas of entry, stops, and targets. I hope that's been helpful to you. And um, I think we can call it the day now and um, I wish you all a great day and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you.